Hello guys, we are back with our next lecture. In this lecture, let us go through the next question. Okay, so this question belongs to GATE CSC 2004. The given question is a Unix style inode has 10 direct pointers. So let us note them down. 10 direct pointers. Okay, one single pointer. Okay, one double pointer. Okay. And one triple indirect pointer. Okay, one triple. Okay. So now they are saying disk block size is a one KB disk block. Okay. One KB. And they are saying a disk address block is a address. Block address is a 32 bits. Okay. And 48 bit integers are used. Okay. 48 bit integers are used. Okay. So now they are asking what is the maximum possible size for the particular file. So these questions are really easy guys. The only thing is you should understand what exactly are they asking us. So they are asking us the maximum file size. And they told that they are having a 10 direct pointers one single indirect one double indirect one triple indirect okay so let us start our calculation guys okay so they clearly told that each disk block size is 1 kb okay so here indirectly we are going to add four of these terms right this is one this is two this is three this is four right yes okay so let us start calculating so if there are 10 direct pointers so indirectly they are pointing to 10 addresses right yes so each block is a how much size guys so 1 kb which is a nothing but 10 into 1024 right yes so now we are done with the first layer right yes so now moving on to the second layer so this second layer consists of one single indirect so basically this is a pointing to one particular thing and this is pointing to multiple things that's what it is saying right so one indirect okay and the second is a double indirect so means it is pointing to two different people right and the third one is a triple indirect so it is pointing to three different people and these will be pointing to furthermore right yes so let us first calculate what is this furthermore okay so to calculate it we can directly calculate with the help of this disk block and disk block address right so they clearly gave that the block size of disk is a 1 kb okay so if i store addresses inside this 1 kb storage how many addresses can i store here guys so we can divide it by 32 bits so 32 bits in bytes it is nothing but 4 bytes right yes because 1 byte is equal to 8 bits so it is a 4 bytes so it is a nothing but a 256 right yes so it one uh, one k is a nothing but 1024 guys so if you divide it you're gonna get a 256 right yes so a total of 256 are available in each box guys right yes so here we are having only single one so indirectly that one is going to map so here you are going to have 256 of these items and each item is going to have 1024 size Similarly, the next layer, so this layer is done. So coming to this layer, so the same concept, but here we are having two boxes. So indirectly, it is going to have, yes, it is going to indirectly have this 256, two times, right? Yes. Then followed by 1024. Then the third one is a triple indirect. So it is going to have one more time, right? Yes. 256 into 256 into 1024. So I think now we can calculate it really easily, right? Yes. So let us start. Okay. So I think rather than calculating it directly, let us convert it into two power only guys, because all the options are in two power, right? Yes. So what is this in two power guys? So I think let it be only. So let it be 10. What is this guys? This is a nothing but a K, right? Yes. So 10 K plus wait, this is 1024 is in bytes, right? Yes. So we can write it 10 KB, right? Yes, plus 256 KB plus what is this guys? This is nothing but 2 power 8, right? So just give me a second. 2 power 8. Yeah, 2 power 8. So it is 8 plus 8 that is 16. 16 plus 10. So basically 256 is a 2 power 8. 1024 is a 2 power 10. So if I combine these all, what I will get guys? So it is a nothing but a 2 power how much guys? 
So 8 plus 8 16, 16 plus 10. Okay, so 16 plus 10 is a 26. So it is a nothing but a 2 power 26 plus. So the next value is a nothing but a 2 power 10 plus 8 plus 8 plus 8. So 8 into 3. Okay, plus 10. That is a nothing but 34. Okay, so indirectly it is a nothing but 10 into 2 power 10 plus 2 power 18 plus 2 power 26 plus 2 power 34. So the approximate maximum will be 2 power 34, right? Because these values will be really small when compared to this value. So that is the reason why the final answer will be C, guys. Got it? Yes. And most of the students will be thinking that they can save some time and they will directly calculate only the last layer, guys. Because when you compare with the last layer, all the other layers, like the first three layers, will not be that much. Because if you observe, 2 power 34 is a lot when compared to 2 power 26. And even in options, the examiner always will be free and he will give only the last value, guys. So that's a trick if you want to apply, if you want to save some time, okay? Yes. So now I hope everyone got a clear idea with respect to this question, right? Yes. Guys, there are around five questions or four to five questions in the PYQ with this pattern. So this pattern is important, guys. So please practice them, okay? Yes. So I hope everyone got a clear idea on this. So in the next lecture, let us continue with the next question. Thank you. Thanks for watching. And few students will be like, why did he give this 48-bit integer? Just to confuse us, guys. There is nothing important with respect to that, okay? Yes. So I hope everyone got a clear idea on this. So in the next lecture, let us continue with the next question, okay? Yes. So let us meet the next lecture. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Like, share and subscribe for more awesome videos like this. Thank you.